Are you a homeowner or are you thinking about buying a home? Well, you're gonna love my next guest. We're talking about home buying 101 with top real estate brokers, Tom and Mickey over at Douglas Element. Guys, Mikasa Sukasa, welcome. Thank you. Tom, how crucial is a broker and what should people go and look for when they're looking for one? I'm gonna answer that with a question. Mm -hmm. Would you go into a courtroom without a lawyer? Ooh, some people do it, but it's very dicey. Not Dangerous. a good idea. No. Mm -mm. Not a good idea. Mm -mm. Look for somebody who is uh, is is well versed in the area that you are focusing. That's that's the key. And so, how do you know if they're well versed in that particular area? Is it is it common to do interviews, get-togethers? There's a track record of of every transaction that uh, any legitimate broker has done is out there. Should be out there on their uh, individual website. Mm -hmm. So you, you can easily look that up. Uh, now, Mickey, the economy is doing incredibly well right now. Is this a buyer's market? Is this a seller's market? So it, we're absolutely in a buyer's market here in New York City. We've been uh, cooling our way into a buyer's market since probably about the end of 2015. The rest of the country has been a lot more robust, but now we're seeing price sales are stagnating, prices are coming down, and there's an awful lot of inventory out there. So with interest rates going up, there's no time like the present to be a buyer. And more likely, we're going to see another interest rate hike here within the next few months or so. So that's only going to get bigger. Tom, what are some of the big challenges right now that we're seeing for buyers? One of the big things is the new tax plan mm -hmm. that has had an, an enormous impact. And, and, and people are still not quite sure exactly how that's all going to shake out. So it will get figured out soon because it's almost tax time. But Right, uh, exactly. And, and Mickey, to that point, I mean, this largely has to do with the SALT taxes that a lot of people were able to claim on their taxes uh, depending on where they lived. That no longer is the case. They have a smaller that, uh, deduction that they can take. Of course. So, you know, in um, high real estate tax, high income areas, uh, that $10,000 cap on your SALT tax, that, that comes up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So that affects practically every single home buyer in certainly in New York City. Mm -hmm. And because there's a lack of understanding of exactly what the new tax plan will mean to home buyers when it comes down to their bottom line, there's a lot of fear driving the market. And when people are afraid of what might be coming, uh, they overreact. Mm -hmm. So we have seen prices come down substantially. Obviously, there's pluses and minuses to a lot of things with renting or buying. But what would you say the benefits are of buying versus renting that might not be so obvious to people? I mean, talking about taxes and, and, and expenses and everything, there are certain uh, benefits to home ownership that you may not have if you're renting. But on the other side of that, if you have a creative accountant, you know, and if you work from home, then you can have certain deductions in, in a rental property. What we'll always say to somebody is, a rental will never appreciate. Mm -hmm. Not for you, maybe for the landlord. Or for the landlord but who's not... as asking more money every single year. Exactly. Before. Mickey, we have a lot of viewers who are probably renters who are maybe thinking about buying, but they're sticking with renting right now. What are some tips right now for them that maybe will help them find the perfect rental out there? Well, first of all, decide how long you, how long a term you need mm -hmm. for a rental. If you're thinking of buying in six months, you probably don't want to lock yourself into a one or two year lease. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, if you know what you want and you know the area and you've been around, you've seen what's out there, get yourself ready to move. The rental market moves a lot faster than the sale market, mm -hmm. so you can't look at something today and expect it to be there a month from now or even a week from now or sometimes a day from now. If you walk in and it's the right place, you need to be prepared to make an offer on the spot. Mm -hmm. Tom, uh, you guys deal with a lot of high-end luxury places right now. You guys have been responsible for $2 billion in residential sales. Oh that is a lot of zeros, by the way. <laughs> That's but a big have, number. <laughs> yeah, just a, just a little bit of a number. Uh, but do you have any tips maybe for those with a smaller budget out there about finding a good bargain out there? The first thing to do is to define the word bargain. Because mm -hmm. that's where that's where it can get tricky. Because the, one of the things that we're seeing right now in this marketplace is that a lot of people just want to go in and, and just knock thirty percent off of price, and that may not be quite realistic. If you go shopping in the bargain rack and you're picking through and you find the thing that's got you know it's the shirt that has tears in it and one arm and <laughs> nobody else wanted it and there's blood on it, is that really the thing you should put money into? Right. 
We always channel Warren Buffett. We say price is what you pay, value is what you get. Tom, what sort of role do you feel like technology has really played in this? Because now we have more information now at our fingertips about a particular property than we ever had before. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely been a game changer. I mean, there was a time before I got into real estate, but but brokers were able to hold information so close to the vest that that there was there was all this secret information. But now everything is online. You can look anything up, figure out who bought it on what day, how much they paid, and so it's complete and total transparency now. And even the marketing for agents, Mickey, I mean, the fact that we, ha you know, agents are posting stuff on Instagram, you have drone videos, you have so many ways that agents are now showing you stuff that you never could have seen before in a particular property. Sure, many buyers have limited imaginations, you know, they're not trained architects, they're not trained designers, so you know, having all of these different ways to imagine yourself living in a space is great. But that comes with a caveat, mm -hmm. because too much can be too much. There are so many staged renderings and sunlight that's photoshopped into a room. When somebody finally walks into the space, it's something completely other. And the first reaction from a buyer should never be disappointment. Mm -hmm. And I guess if the one thing that everybody should learn from this is even though you have all this information, it does not replace you not having an agent whatsoever. You should still have that in your pocket. Well, of course. Say that again. Yes, <laughs> put that on your business cards. And I then you hire that. Tom and Mickey. Two billion dollars in sales. You guys have obviously seen a lot of really cool and amazing places. What's the most unique property you guys have uh, personally sold? There, there's one that we have in the market right now that I think yeah. tops the list. Okay, it's, what is it? It's a, a fabulous estate. It's a 15,000 square foot estate in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. Uh, and in the pre-Cold War years, it was the Russian consulate. So when the current owners bought it, as they were knocking out walls and doing renovations, they found secret rooms. Oh, amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, do you have to pay extra for those secret rooms, by the way? Does that go up in terms of bedrooms and stuff like that? <laughs> it adds to the square footage. Yes, it so, definitely. So. Probably makes our taxes go up, too. <laughs> well, no doubt buying a home is a really big step. So hopefully these helpful tips will make it a little easier for you. Much thanks, of course, to Mickey and Tom over at Douglas Elliman for being a great help here, guys. And we have a lot more Cheddar at Home coming up next. Do not go anywhere.